today we've got a quick video update on the SST transmission which is common in the Lancer Rally Art and the Evo 10. Now this is the semi-automatic electronically controlled six-speed manual transmission and what I've got you to show today is a group of parts we've taken off car. This is the side pan off the transmission and this is a replacement high capacity pan and as you can see here we've got the factory filter, the new filter, but what I really wanted to show you here is the way to save money on this car. Would you believe this filter assembly, which is supposed to be white, is about two or three hundred dollars from Mitsubishi, at least here in Australia. You can see how dirty the oil gets if you don't change it often. This is what it should look like. Now my recommendation is, is to save some money in the future is what you do is you change the filter, put the new one in, but what you then do is you replace it with this inline filter that you cut into the factory external lines which you once off purchase and then all you have to do is pull it apart and clean it which means you no longer have to buy any parts. It's initially a little bit more expensive but long term it's going to save you some money. And some other things that you can do to save some money from the transmission point of view, this is the pan on the side of the transmission or well, practically that's the top there and this is the replacement big pan one which holds about another litre but also what this one has, which is not in this particular one, but there's now an optional dipstick because the problem that people have is you can't see what the oil level is in the transmission. And this replacement pan that you can fit on the side of the transmission has a dipstick built in and that allows you to externally check the oil of the transmission oil in your SST transmission. Now getting onto the oil, there's a lot of different products available on the market now where you can put the factory Mitsubishi oil back in, which is quite expensive, or the aftermarket motorsport one. Whichever one you choose, I highly recommend that you don't do the oil change as per what Mitsubishi say. They say about 100,000 kilometres normal driving or 45,000 k's for aggressive driving. This particular car, whilst it's got an MRT XC kit fitted, is only done mainly driving around town very low kilometres, you can see how dirty the oil is. Now, if you don't change the oil often, ultimately it's going to do damage to the internal transmission of the car. The more you change the oil, whilst it can be quite expensive, long term it's going to save you money. So if you're doing track days, please make sure that you check the oil and clean it or change the filter often and look after the oil in your transmission. Because these brand new gearboxes are relatively new, a lot of people don't understand how to look after them. You don't even want to think about the cost of putting new clutches in it. Recently we quoted a client over two and a half, three and a half thousand dollars to supply and fit new clutch packs into that transmission because he had looked after it properly by changing the oil at a regular service interval with the amount of heavy abuse that it got on the road and aggressive use of the track. So there you have it, the parts that you need to think about how to look after the transmission in your Rally Art Lancer and Evo 10 with the SST transmission. Of course, you know where you can get more info, MRT Performance, pick up the phone, send us an email, have a look at the dyno data, the technical information. Wherever you are in the world, I'm Brent Middleton. Thanks for watching.